Hey guys, it's Rena. I might sound really quiet today because I'm just in a very low morale kind of mood right now. So I decided I'm going to play some video games just to kind of... I don't know. <laughs> you know when you have those down days? It's one of those days. So we're going to play a game called Kathy Rain. <laughs> Hey, you! Uh, hey. Oh, man. Oh, God, this is so comfy. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. The hell? <laughs> I, uh, I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Uh-huh. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. So I was browsing drunk? through the used book ads in the paper when I... Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out! So I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. I remembered that you used to live there and everything, and... Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. And, and get this! His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. Hmm. What did you just say? You knew him, right? I knew it! I knew you'd know him! Yeah, he was my grandfather. I really don't want to talk about it. I haven't seen him since I was a child. A long time. A lifetime ago. I haven't seen him since I was a kid. A lifetime ago. Hey, wait a minute. I never told you where I grew up. Oh, well, I, uh, well, I might have sort of looked you up. That is not cool, Eileen, seriously. Why not? I just couldn't help myself. Well, one of these days you're gonna help yourself to a restraining order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. I know. That's how you know this game's well, old. anyway, you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. Okay. Are you gonna go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. Good night, Kathy. Night. September. Oh, wow, 1995. Oh, God, make it stop. <laughs> Do I have to? Looks like Eileen left a note for me here. Hi, Kat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later. E. I'm so getting a new roommate. <laughs> well, I guess I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. Use phone. Look Our at room phone. phone. It's got an external line. Use phone. Ooh, do I have to call people later? Just a phone. Yeah, no, no shit. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I was expecting, anticipating. Pink bear, mirror, what is it? Oh, it's closet. Eileen's closet, filled to the brink with inherited clothes and Christian joy. Makeup check, hair check, horrible mood, and contempt for humanity check. Got it. We meet again, Mr. Bear. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault you ended up so close to my lighter. <laughs> that movie's not out yet. It's a promo poster Eileen got for being an extra. She no. tells everyone who walks in here the same joke. Spoiler alert, the boat sinks. I'm fairly sure it's about some guy who falls in love with his golden retriever. I mean, don't we all? I think that movie is about a girl and a boy who hate each other at first, and then they fall in love for no reason at all. Sounds about like oh. every single romance. <laughs> That's every romantic comedy ever. Exactly. <laughs> Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. Mildred. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna get her for that. I wish I could wrap up that fact and save it for Christmas. Hmm. 
looks handcrafted, probably something she made in woodworking class. Well, either her or one of her 12 siblings. Oh my god, that's a lot of kids. Jesus, her mom must have been on her back for years. Jesus, <sighs> 12? Honestly, she can believe in what she wants as long as she doesn't try to shove it down my throat. I agree with that. I don't like when people try to force their religion onto people. Well, I guess I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. Hey, but before we do that, we're going to look at some more of the stuff in the house. Like this computer. Uh, I'm no geek, but I know how to use one. That's great, because this computer, is computer, that is. Not a geek. Wow. You Eileen went. borrowed it from school. She takes a bunch of computer classes. Smart cookie. Color printer. Super fancy, apparently. <laughs> a fact which Eileen loves to remind me of. Oh, how it was so simple back then. The Thing. One of my favorite horror movies. September 8th, so I don't know Nah, it's no fun when there's no one around to annoy with it. Just some random band poster. Wow, your side is like... Super messy. Eileen makes her bed with surgical precision. <laughs> messy. Just the way I like it. Yeah. Messy. Just the way I like so it. So you have like, I guess you could have four roommates. That's kind of annoying. In a place like that. At least you don't have to share a bed. Like, that's a bunk bed. Alright, we vibing. Oh, I did not realize I had to click on a destination. She looks pixelated because she is. Well, here we are. The cemetery. God, I really need a smoke. Smoke is Does bad. Does anyone object? I do. Guess not. Dead people rule. <laughs> hey, I told you no. I object. No time for that now. I'm late for the funeral. No time for that now. I'm late for the funeral. I mean, you didn't seem like you really cared to go too much. It says price. Okay. It was like, it does? I don't even notice. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity, a pillar of the community, and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing while our loss is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes, ashes to ashes, ashes dust, to dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies so they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. Mm -hmm. To him be glory forever. Amen. Amen. May you rest in peace, Joseph. Something rain. I vaguely remember your name. I'm sorry. Oh, Kathy, you big baby. Just talk to her. All right, Miss Rain. Mary Elizabeth Rain, my grandmother on my father's side. Oh. Let's go do it. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Rain? Have we met, hon? You look strangely familiar. It's me. It's Catherine. Catherine who? You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Kathy, wow. bless my soul. Look at you all grown up. 
Oh, you forgot your grandbaby. Oh, I wish Joseph could see you now, finally coming home. Let's hope he can, wherever he is. <laughs> A comforting thought, dear. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen. Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Goodness. We have some catching up to do then. Yeah, sounds like it. I want to know everything. Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Got sure, it. Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. Same here. See you in a bit. Wow. Fifteen years. Ellis Parker. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious to know. No real reason. Mary Elizabeth Rain, my grandmother on my oh, father's side. I thought she was going to say something else now that she had spoken to her. A family mausoleum. The family must have been fairly rich. Those things don't come cheap. Nope. No reason to go in there. <sighs> I wanted to be nosy. Oh. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. If you wish to find God, the Church of the Holy Trinity is always open to you. Okay, is that thanks. so? Here, have a brochure. It's never too late to turn away from the path of sin. And what makes you sure I'm not on a path? I'm on the path of sin, Father. Yeah, I kind of don't like how he said that either. I probably answer and this And what one. makes you so sure I'm on a sinful path, Father? Wouldn't you say that prejudice is but a small step from the seven big ones? I simply meant that we are all sinful creatures, child. Mm -hmm. I know you're going to say that. The church. Don't get your hopes up, buddy. I'll pray for you. <laughs> I wish you comfort in this time of grief. Pray for you. <laughs> I hear that attitude. I'm pray for you. You need all the help you can get, Kathy. Jesus. <laughs> Lord help her. It's pretty much what's going through his head. Let's head to Granny's. Granny. Grandma. Anybody home? No. Oh, thank God you can get in. Cause I was like, it sounds like it's raining like a bee up there. Granny, there's nothing quite like the soothing sound of rain falling on a window, especially at Granny's house. Nice black leather coat, right up my alley. Yeah, I figured as much. Cute red horse. It's some old Swedish thing, I think. What's the difference between thinking this about it looks and fresh? Grandma must have had this restored recently. So one is when she observes it, and one is just like her natural thoughts. Okay. Dog fighting. Grandpa used to love that stuff. I don't. Some kind of winter forest scene. I've always wondered if it's supposed to be Conwell Woods or not. Huh. Never seen this around. Grandpa must have used it towards the end. Probably. Uh, I guess not. Let's go into the living room, I guess. It's just weird that Grandma just left the door open. I guess they have a very low cry. Oh, oh Grandma hello, is dear. there. I was just wondering what took you so long. Sorry, I couldn't resist taking that old wheelchair for a spin. Oh, don't give me that look. I put it back. You haven't changed one bit. Always, Always kidding, kidding around. around. Just like when you were little. Come have a seat. We have so much to talk about. Thanks, Grandma. So, now, tell me about your life in the city. Oh, uh, there's boring. not much to tell. I'm going to school for journalism. Oh, nice. It's my second year. Congrats. I ride a motorcycle in case you missed it there out front. Sound oh, noisy. That's right. Just like your father. Uh, yeah, I suppose. I must ask, have you heard anything from your father? Anything, anything at all? all? No, nothing since he bailed way back then. Oh. I expected as much. 
he disappeared without a trace. Magical. No matter that's ancient history. In a bad way. How Sharon then? You Sharon? Uh, I feel like in a situation like this, she might want uh, to. Mom's good. Yeah. She's kind of between jobs right now, but things are okay. I'm glad to hear it. I was worried about how you two would cope in the city, considering Sharon's problems. Considering that you yeah, call her about Sharon. That. I'm sorry, I didn't visit sooner, Grandma. Mom, she told me all these horrible lies about you and Grandpa. When I was old enough to understand what she was doing, I felt like it was much too late. It wasn't your fault, dear. You were a child. I'm just happy that you're here now. I'm happy too. for you, too. So, what about you? How have you been doing all these years? I like the voice I've been acting. lonely ever since the accident. There's no denying that. What accident? Goodness gracious. Of course you don't know. She took you away before it all happened. Don't know what? I will never forget that dreadful day. August 16th, 1981. Oh, yeah, it was she the would middle have been of born. the night when <laughs> Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet with an awful blank stare on his face, like his soul had been ripped from his body. Since that day, he never spoke a word. Um. Forever confined to that blasted wheelchair. Really? For all this time? Wow. I had no idea. It came as a shock to all of us. Ten That's years. horrible, Grandma. I'm so sorry. Thank you, dear. Wow. Incident. Why do you think Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? I haven't the faintest idea. He acted very peculiar not long before it happened, disappearing for hours at a time. At first, I even suspected he was having an affair. When I asked him about it, he just said he was chasing old demons. Old Unless it demons. had something to do with the war. PTSD? Yeah. Maybe it was post-traumatic stress disorder? Grandpa always had a hard time showing weakness. I don't know, dear. I, I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. I don't blame you. Joseph was a man of few words. I'm sure he just didn't wish to burden me with it, whatever it was. What did the doctors say? What about the police? Let's go with the What did the doctors, doctors have say? to say about Grandpa's condition? Persistent vegetative state. Oh my That's god. That's what they call it. I've heard it all by now. One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe infection. Wow. It's all a load of tripe. I had an MRI performed on Joseph. It's one of those state-of-the-art head scans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yes, well, according to the scan, his brain was completely intact. Hmm. They thought it was a technical problem at the time, some kind of glitch. But the result was the same after three different scans on three different machines. Yes, so Eventually, had they had to confess that they simply had no credible explanation for the state he was in. Hmm. And this Shock. injury just happened to occur on the very same night he mysteriously disappears? Indeed. I refuse to believe it was a coincidence. Yeah, that sounds a little weird. Yeah, what did the What did Sheriff say? Truman have to say about the matter? Not much. He said they simply found Joseph in that condition on the outskirts of town. The sheriff was convinced there was some kind of foul play involved, but the investigation turned up nothing. He later said that he was sorry, but that he was forced to close the case. You know, I could try forced to find out to more about this. Case. Yeah, she's a journalist. You're welcome to try, dear. Some kind of closure would mean the world to me. Aw, Granny, okay. I can do it. I think I'll head over to the sheriff's station for a little chat then. Would be nice to witness police doing some actual police service for once. <laughs> sure, you go ahead. Let me know if I can be of any more help. Yeah. Because we are a journalist, I guess we're going to figure out what's going on. We're like... A... I don't want to say Nancy Drew isn't cool, but like a cooler version of Auntie Drew. Hmm. Um, I'm just gonna... Well, gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. 
Bye, Kathy. <laughs> I should probably show her the stun gun. Hey, watch out my stun gun. <laughs> Grandpa in his Air Force uniform looks to be in his early 20s. Wow. Nice leather chair. Freckles, the old farm cat, used to love that thing. Oh. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Can, can I show you? Do. What's on your mind? I really want to show you my I don't want to show her that. She'll just start worrying about me. <laughs> okay. Church what do you brochure? think about this church, Grandma? They seem harmless to me, but they can be a bit pushy at times. Yeah, I, I think so too. <laughs> you could say that. Handing out pamphlets at funerals is in pretty bad taste. Awfully strange behavior for a priest, I'll give you that. <laughs> I don't want to show her that. Fine. I don't want to show her that. I don't want to show her that. I didn't think you wanted to. I just wanted to check, okay? okay. See you later, Grams. Just wanted Take to show her my do. stun gun, which you didn't want me to show her, so. I remember playing with that. Grandpa had a whole collection of them. That's great. Before we actually leave, we are not going to examine this bookshelf, I guess. I didn't really think about that. One second, let's go in the back of this room. Hold on, I need to look at this bookshelf real quick. Oh, hello, dear. Hi. A decent-sized book collection. Most of them science or history related from the looks of it. Okay, I just wanted to know what she was going to say. Goodbye, okay, Grandma. I'm just going to head on out and invade your privacy and go upstairs. I shouldn't overstay my welcome. Damn it. A mere single pair of boots on display. Boy, do we live in different worlds. I mean, you're a child. These should come in handy when I need to make calls. Yes, perfect. Mm, oh, okay. Okay, so I guess when we will get some stuff. This is like Nancy Drew, but like not Nancy Drew. I like it. Okay, let's go to the sheriff department. I'm assuming that's what we are going to do. I honestly kind of forgot. Okay, bye, Granny. You should really lock your doors. It's kind of strange that you don't, but I know you might be in a small town, but I think it's still safer if you lock your door. You should really do that. Hello, young cop. I was wondering, because I was like, he looks like a new kid on the block. What is this music? Hey, Sheriff. What's the deal with that bum? What bum? The one in the cell. Oh, I thought it was real. Well, wow. shit. Hmm. hmm. Some young cop. Looks a bit familiar. Hi. Hello. Hello. Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Uh -huh. Hey, wait. I know you. you I'm do. pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. And My reputation precedes me. In a kind of, but not totally creepy way. Aw, oh, come on. It's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. Pretend to recognize him, admit the truth, you have no clue who he is. No, nah, I'm gonna break his heart. I don't remember you at all. I'm drawing all. a blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, buddy. Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? <laughs> I just wanted to break your heart. Want to make sure you know I didn't know you. I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. Mm -hmm. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. Wow, we're actually just allowed to go there? Well, gotta go. See ya. I didn't even want to play him and be like, oh yeah, I know you. No, I want to make sure he knew. <laughs> That must be the sheriff. He looks grumpy. Yep. Yep, he does. 
How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Hello, Sheriff. Do you have a moment? Not really. Make it quick. Oh, you look more youthful here. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. <laughs> Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, but you know what they say. Things too good to be true usually are. Mm -hmm. Police report. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They were official police documents. Yeah, Why I not? Do. I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't. Oh. Oh, come on, Cher. What's the big deal? But I'm family. I'm not... Doesn't that count for something? But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. Wow. It's complicated. Guess what's Still complicated? Not family. to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. Aw, oh, come on, Sheriff. What's the big deal? It was a long time ago. Exactly. It would make this girl very, very happy. Are you trying to use flirtation on an officer of the law? Well, that shit may work on numbnuts like Lenny, but I got uh. work to do. <laughs> Lenny, a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? <laughs> there are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? Too much coffee? Yes. Try not to pop a vein. You want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. <laughs> Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. Oh, cuff Just me. follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. <laughs> a gold medal of some kind. A photo of the sheriff shaking hands with some bald guy in a suit. Probably the mayor. It's always the mayor. Usually is. Just some photo. I can't see it clearly from here. Neither can I. Just some photo. I can't see it clearly from Neither here. Neither can I. Tons of miscellaneous files. I don't see anything labeled as police reports, so those must be elsewhere. Hmm. Lots of police reports, organized alphabetically by the looks of it. I would, but I can't do that when he's right there. Maybe I can distract him somehow. Hmm. Lenny, I need you to do something. How can I help, us? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. You'll have to get her a gift. A uh, gift? Like what? I don't really know your mother. Yeah. For Christ's sakes, all moms are the same. Just use your imagination. Wow. I'm expecting something nicely wrapped on my desk by the end of the week. Uh, okay, boss. Wow. That must be the sheriff. He looks grumpy. What a garbage man. You're a garbage person. Can't Various even buy his own mother a wanted gift. Poster. A bunch of cops lining up for a photo. Mm-hmm. Hey, sheriff, what's the deal with that bum? What Not sure where those doors the lead. I should go check it out. Oh, Ooh, can we? Well, shit. They're not gonna say anything. We're just gonna walk in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got no problem. Looks like an incarcerated bum. Hmm. Hey. What? I can't hear. You. Thanks. That was getting annoying. What's your deal? Hey. Hi there. So, why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't me. mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the <laughs> checkout. Uh -huh. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. <laughs> For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I take uh -huh. my last statement back. This excuse is even worse. Yep. 
Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. But that wow. doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. Mm -hmm. I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. <laughs> okay, gotta go. See ya! I mean, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Just a bunch of boxes filled with office supplies. An axe, a sledgehammer, and some other heavy tools. Hmm. A computer monitor. Probably recovered stolen goods. There's no way small town cops would be that up to date with the modern world. It's so funny that they like literally have this is supposed to be up to date. Like that big box um computers. Some of you might be too young to even remember those. A jail cell. Looks cramped. Mm hmm Well Hey. Hey. Hi there. You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Yeah. Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least twenty bucks. Nine. Fifteen. Eight. <laughs> Fine. Ten. Seven. <sighs> Deal. Good. So, uh, what am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. I like her. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will Got do. it. If I ever feel the urge to clean, I'll know where to go. Hmm. Not sure what exactly I'm supposed to do here. Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, now sorry. Now you realize that? I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? <laughs> Okay, I have to make this quick. He's like just in the other room. Okay, let's have a look. Got it. Okay. 1981. An individual was encountered on the other side of the dirty road of a few miles from... Conwell Spring, blindly walking to forwards with his eyes wide open. The subject was an individual as Joseph Rain. He did not respond when touched or spoken to. He appeared to be dirty from head to toe and wet up to the knees. Mr. Rain was fiercely clenching a small tape recorder complete with tape. Okay. Being cooperative, he would be led into the squad car and transported back to town. Picking up Miss Rain. Was that the same day? What time was that? Okay, 40. Okay. Uh, and brought him along with Mr. Rain to the emergency room of the community clinic. Okay, the following morning, upon routine inspection of the patrol car, the tape recorder was found discharged on the back seat. Fill aisle has evidence locker five okay hmm i'm gonna have to get my hands on that recorder hmm. okay let's find the key to locker number five got it okay girl How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. Perfect. Thanks, man. Hey. Hi there. Okay, gotta go. I See ya. thought we were gonna just, you know, say something. But, uh, clearly. Open evidence locker. All right, got it. 
<laughs> We're just not gonna say anything. Just gonna shuffle on in here. Okay, bye. <laughs> Let's take our shit and leave. Lenny, I like you. You don't say shit. Hey, uh, Kathy, wait. What? Do you eat foot? What? I, I what? Mean, food? Absolutely no, not. I no. feed on human misery. Mm -hmm. I, uh... Relax, Lenny. Yes, I do eat food. <laughs> oh, oh great. Can I buy you food sometime? And also buy food for me? And and then maybe... Wow. We can eat the food together? You're so lame. God, no, absolutely no. Actually, I'd rather eat a foot. Wow. I'm really busy right now. Maybe later. Oh, okay. See ya. <laughs> I wanted to, like, realize that I'm not interested, but, like, some of those options were a little harsh. <laughs> I'd absolutely rather eat a foot. Go to Granny's house, I guess. Grandma, I'm a home. I guess we're going to go in here and talk to her about the tape, because that's the only thing I can possibly think of. Oh, hello, dear. Hey. I got some things to talk to you Mind about. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Yeah. Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Hey, Grandma, do you recognize this tape recorder? Oh, yes, Mr. Dicto. Joseph used to carry that thing with him everywhere. <laughs> he could be absent-minded at times. It helped him remember things. Ah. I got the dictaphone already. I don't think there's anything else in there I need to mention to her. Got it. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna... Can I go upstairs? Because I feel like there probably is something of interest. Can I? Okay. Note to self, remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. Mm. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting closer to finding the source. The source? I have a theory, but I need help. I'm gonna have to involve somebody else. Hmm. Addict. Okay, yeah, we did take that. I knew there was something I was forgetting to do. I forgot we have like little satchel over here that you can Oh, hello dear. <sighs> Sorry, I was yawning. Uh, yeah, I forgot there's like a little satchel. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? That has Not all her shit. What's on your mind? The would attic. Would you mind if I took a look in the attic? I suppose it would do no harm. Come with me. Oh, thanks. Not thanks, like Grandma. I couldn't get You're up there welcome, myself. Dear. Be careful now. Girl, can we turn on the light? The bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. So she brought you up here in the complete darkness and was like, It's okay, sweetheart. You can just stay in the dark. Nothing. The bulb must be burned out. Granny, do you have a light bulb? Downstairs. I'm going to guess we have to go back downstairs, ask for a light bulb of some sort, and then come back upstairs. Because Granny did not realize that she hasn't been up there in years. Oh, hello, dear. Do you have Alzheimer's? Damn. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? The lights are out in the attic. Oh, oh I really did have to well, do Well, there that. should be a whole box of light bulbs around here somewhere. Do you remember where? Now, where did I put <laughs> it? Where did I? Oh, dear. I think it's in the attic. Oh, that's, that's great. That's just terrific. 
I'm sure you'll figure it out, dear. Thanks, Granny. We have a lighter. See you later, Grams. Take care, dear. There's nothing quite like the soothing sound right. of rain falling on a window. Why does that look like two eyes here? <laughs> Anyways, we have a lighter. I forgot. We can use that. Let's take a look upstairs. Okay, we're gonna look at the attic. Go to the lighter. Think about the lighter. Combine lighter. Light nah, it's drafty in here and almost out of fuel. Gonna need it for my smokes. Wow. So that's not an option. Girl, girl, you have problems. Oh my god. Is there anything? I don't know, you could remove light bulbs from other places. Never would have thought of that. I didn't even know it was in this area. Free I thought light it was bulb. Score. I thought it was gonna be in somewhere else. <laughs> Perfect. Now we can finally see. The bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Perfect. There we go. Pretty. I'm going to close this. We're going to look at the book uh, briefcase. Hmm. Locked briefcase. There's like a lot of digits. I don't remember how many because I didn't really Various count. Various books and office supplies. Nothing in particular catches the eye. A thick book about math. Well, girly, let's go take a seat. A worn office chair on wheels. I'm feeling a sudden urge to do a race. <laughs> don't fall down the stairs. An old typewriter covered in cobwebs. Just some old bills. Nothing interesting. Really? Decades old coffee. Lovely. <laughs> I wonder what she would say. Uh, yeah. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Just wondering. I had it to wonder. Like someone was doing geometry. I can't make much sense of it. Geometry? I haven't done that in years. Why does this look like it's somewhat of importance? What do we get here? We got a math book. Hmm. Pi. The one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe the first four digits of pi. Hold on, I'm gonna get a pen, because I don't have one. Because you would think I remember pi, but you know, I really don't. <laughs> That was ages ago. I haven't used that since high school. I had a friend that memorized like the first like 20 numbers of pi. Mm -hmm. See the blue one. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but. Huh. I vaguely remember this. Hmm. Okay. Let's try pie on the briefcase. So I feel like that would be something of importance. So three, one, four, one, five. Yeah, that would have been too easy. I doubt the book alone is enough to solve this. Damn it. <laughs> hmm. An 
old typewriter covered in cobwebs. Mr. Bear! How did you get all the way up there? Good idea. You just keep watch. I'll do the searching. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, she gonna take it? Oh, I got an achievement. Kill it. Hmm. What did he say in this? Examine this again. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting closer to finding the source. I have a theory, but I need help. I'm gonna have to involve somebody else. Involving someone else, huh? Well, it's time to go and... Oh! Does that mean I can talk to myself about it? What really happened to you that night, Grandpa? Yeah. There has to be some way of figuring out the code. I'm sure both the math book and the first message on the tape have something to do with it. Yep. Three roses. Let me just double check that. It was three roses, right? Three red roses. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, blue violet, and two yellow tulips. Blue violet. Prime numbers. They're primary colors. Red is a primary color, blue is a primary color, and I believe yellow is also. Maybe a row has just three numbers in it. So possibly, oh, I was going to say 17, 19, 23, but since those are too many numbers, a column possibly? No. And then blue. Huh. This would be a great game for a stream. If only my internet was great enough to do that. But since I live in a basement apartment, that ain't happening. Let's see what Granny has to say. Granny! Got any words of wisdom? Oh, hello, dear. Hi, Granny. Do you have anything? You okay, let's just sit on the couch with her. Maybe have a cup of tea. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? This briefcase. I found a locked briefcase in the attic. Do you know anything about it? I don't feel oh, like she does. Oh, that old thing? Oh. Joseph said there were just some old boring Air Force papers in there. Mm. If that was the case, why use an intricate combination lock? That's a very good question, yes. dear. In any case, I wouldn't know how to open it. Hmm. Great. Well, that gotta go, Grams. Did Talk to you later. Not help me. Bye, oh, Kathy. what's so? Oh, oh, damn it! I should have asked her about the map. Mind if we talk? Not at all. I found this book in the attic. Recognize it? Oh yes, I bought it for Joseph's birthday once. Bought him he a was math always book. fascinated by numbers. He believed that math could explain everything in this world. Oh. He was a man of science. There's no denying that. Yep. Sounds like it. Oh my god, this is gonna take me ages. Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. 
So long. Well, this is just an intro to this game, so if you like it, let me know. If you don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm probably going to play it anyways, so <laughs> take care, everyone. Bye. <laughs>